Hey, this is Scott. And this is Jack. And this is the Scott and Jay Show, and it's, uh, I'm not going to say what day it is anymore. <laughs> it's a Saturday. Oh, okay. This is, uh, we're here at Starbucks Studios, and uh, coming up this weekend, we got the big Super Bowl, Broncos versus the Seattle Seahawks. So, how do you think, you said last week that you thought that it was going to be a win by a touch, uh, field goal. Yeah, I still, still I, think I, that. I still think that. It's going to be a close game. Um, I, I really still think it's going to be the Broncos. Um, Peyton Manning is incredible, so I think this is his year. Cool. I mean, 50, 55 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, um, but he is going against one of the best secondaries in the NFL. So. Right. What about the commercials? Have you seen any of the commercial previews? Uh, so the one that I have, I've seen a couple of them. The one that I like the best has been the uh, Budweiser commercial with the puppy. Right. Um, yeah. Ooh, that one's a hard, a hard <laughs> tear. <laughs> And uh, one that was not so hard terror is the uh, Dober Wow Wow. I like what? that. The Dober Wow Wow. Didn't see that one. Um, yeah. A guy and a girl goes into a dog store and they want to buy a dog. He wants a Doberman. She wants a Chihuahua. And so the guy said, "Well, you can always crossbreed them." And so they, so get they a have ch- a Wow. It's a Dober Wow Wow. Oh. And uh, it's got a Chihuahua's body with a Doberman's head. <laughs> it's great. So this dog is, it, like, the woman's carrying it in her purse, and it's just this big head sticking out of the purse, and then uh, it, it shows two of them chasing this boy. He's, like, running for his life, and, and they fall over because their heads are so big. <laughs> so I was thinking the other day, here's my big idea for the week. Um, we, I was in a meeting not too long ago, and they were talking about, and I've heard this argument over and over again about how the different organizations in town don't know what's going on because there's either too many calendars or not enough calendars, or there, there's no concerted effort to organize. It's not synced up with my outlook. Right. That's my biggest problem. So, my suggestion, and I'm going to see what you think about this, is a crowdsourced Google Calendar. See, where people, if you're with OK Mozart or you're with the softball team or, you know, Sandy Koufax tournament yep. or anything, you, you could go into this calendar and you could add your event to it. And that way then people could go and see if, if there's a conflict. So you got to have some trust in people that they're going to put the right thing in there. I don't think that's a problem. But I think if you made a caveat in there that if someone gets stupid and adds something stupid, that it's going to be taken down. But for the most part, yeah. if everybody had a place to add their event, then people could help, uh, it would help people plan future events. And yeah, so certainly. instead of having one organization like the Chamber of Commerce or Barbersville Monthly or whoever try to corral all this calendar information, just let people do it. Right. So, you know, there you go. There's I, my... I see that at the high school a lot because, um, you know, with, with my son being involved with band last year, I would see um, band concerts on nights where we had basketball games. Right. And sometimes you can't help that. But no, I, and I, there's always going to be something going something's on. going on. But when both things are in use, parking is crazy, and then you're torn, you know, my son... He's a little bit of a sports fan. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's uh, when it, when I say fan, um, that's uh, really short for yeah, yeah. lunatic, fanatic, <laughs> fanatical <laughs> lunatic. Uh, the boy lives and breathes sports. Yeah. Um, first thing in the morning, sports uh, sports center. Oh yeah. Last thing at night, sports center. Wow. And uh, he definitely knows when his he's, sports. When he's not watching sports, he's uh, either talking about it. Dreaming listening, about it. listening or playing music or going to a concert. Right. So that's my son in a nutshell. Right. Actually, this is my son in a nutshell. Help, I'm in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> so don't you think that's a good idea? So, so a crowd, open source calendar, and the key would be to get everybody aware of the calendar, how to use yeah. Google calendars. That and, sounds good. Uh, you know, maybe have somebody like Examiner Enterprise sponsor it or, or say something about it, you know, get the, get the word out. And so that way, uh, band concerts, anything, you know, that, you can kind of see if you're going to, if you want to do an event in the future, you can look on the calendar and see 
It doesn't mean that Keller's going to be 100% because it's only as good as the information people put into it. But uh, I think that if all the nonprofits, all the schools, if everybody uh, knew that there was access and they could add stuff to it, over time, I think it would be a, uh, a benefit to the community. You know, EE puts out, uh, EE and the radio station, it's all, all put out. Um, radio station, yeah. They put out calendar stuff, yeah. but it's not a, a consorted calendar that, that shows everything on a calendar. It's just a list of items. And so, yeah, I think that would be a good, good feature to have. Right. And then everybody, the radio would have access to it, the newspaper, stuff like that. So, yep. right. yeah. Games, anything about games? Jay, no more games. You've been playing games. Um, no, I've been playing. Uh, Perfect. I've been playing Tiny uh, oh. Death Star. It's it's kind of funny. It's it's. Oh, like, so oops. Sorry. Don't cry over the spilled milk, though. I'm not crying. That's I only cry over spilled ice cream. <laughs> not ice coffee. No. We just had an accident here on aisle two. Yes. That's why we can't have nice things, Candace. Yeah, that's why we can't have nice things. She, she's not. She's choosing not to listen. <laughs> Way to go. Golly. Tiny Death Star is kind of fun, but yeah. um, I, I really, I haven't had a lot of time to uh, play games this week. I've, I've been going to bed early because uh, 5.45 comes early in the morning. It does. Yes, it yeah, does. Every day it comes really so why early. Why are you getting up at 5:45? I've hit the gym every day this week, except for Sunday. Yay! Good morning. I've looked at a gym. I've driven by gyms. I even know a guy named Jim, but I haven't actually started that little deal yet. I need a Fitbit like you got, or Nike Fuel. Fitbit. So what does that do? It looks like a uh, kit. Yeah, la 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 <laughs> So what does that do? Just on your wrist? Um, it, yeah, it, it tracks your steps for the day. It tracks your steps for the day.